Hey everyone, welcome to the GMG Review. Today we're taking a look at Kill Team Hive Storm. This is just a short, quick, like, not unboxing, but like contents review uh, for this new Games Workshop starter set for the 2024 edition of Kill Team. This was kindly sent along as a complimentary review copy by Games Workshop. So what is in this box? Well, having built and painted everything that came in here in the last few months, um, I'll give you a quick overview of the back here, but then I'm also going to show you everything that I've been interacting with. Uh, we have two Kill Teams, the Tempestus Aqualons and the Vespid St uh, Stingwings. We have an equipment pack, measuring gauges, dice, tokens, and these three books right here, which I'm also reviewing today. Uh, sorry, two books. And I guess there's technically booklets in this thing right here, which is the approved ops card pack. We get the core book, which you'll see a separate review for, the Hivestorm dossier, which is the rules for the two kill teams, and the approved ops card pack. Um, and this is the actual sort of like uh, what you play for matched play as the term I'm going to use. Ca not casual match play, like match play, match play, um, which gra you graduate into out of the missions in the core book. So this book contains the core mechanics for the game, as well as rules for multiplayer ops and joint ops, which is two other ways of playing. One is solo and cooperative. One is like with a, a large group of people going head to head. Um, and then you get preliminary ops, which is a scaled down version of what's in here. It's just focused on the kill grade, which is kill points. Um, or kill score, and then your um, critical op, which is like a primary mission based upon where the objectives are placed. Um, so in this box, you really do get everything that you need to play. And that is the first thing I will say. You get two complete kill teams. So this isn't like a Worm or 40,000 or Worm Rage of Sigmar box where what you're getting is going to be half of a full game. So for instance, when Skaven Tide came out this past uh, summer, you got to play Spearhead, which was a separate game mode from Warhammer Rage of Sigmar sort of like pitch battles. And you got about half of what a full pitch battle game size army is. Not so in Kill Team. In Kill Team, you get not just like the full gamut of two Kill Teams, you get some options too. So you won't even actually use every single game, every miniature in here. Although you kind of do, you're typically not always going to take the troopers, you're going to take the specialists. Um, and you get a full range of 10 models for each of those two teams. 11 if you count the sentry drone for the Aqualons, as well as the observer drone for the Vespids. Um, telling them what to do. It might actually be the leader of the team, which is very funny. Uh, beautifully sculpted miniatures. Both teams are very well done. My one little criticism is there is a weapon loadout for the Tempestor, which is the leader of the Aqualons, that you cannot make without not being able to make one of your specialists. There's only a single right hotshot las pistol hand, and you need that for the power sword, uh, which is, I think, always what you would take. I, I don't know why I would take the chain sword or the las carbine. Um, you, you would kind of always make this upgrades. Uh, it keeps you from making the gunfighter, as the gunfighter needs that pistol. A little quick conversion, use the pointing hand instead, um, and you're off the races, it's what I did. But if you follow the instructions in here for making, which you make that model first, if you were to make the power sword miniature, which is the one pictured in this book, um, if you look right here, you can see this is the one pictured. Um, that hotshot las pistol is the same one used by this gunfighter right here, so you can't make both. Other than that, the uh, Vespids, you can make every single miniature for right out of the box, following the instructions, no problem. You get all the specialists, you get the strain leader, you get the oversight drone, you get warriors. There's no way to screw it up. There is, all, there is however, a way of not getting exactly what you want out of the box for the Tempesters, so just a word of warning. They just needed to put an extra right-handed Laz Pistol in there. If they put two of them in instead of one on the sprue, you could just instantly make it. You couldn't accidentally mess it up and lock anything out. Um, let's talk about the rest of the cardboard plunder. Lots of tokens in here. You are going to get the specific tokens for the Vespids, uh, as well as the Tempestors. These were previously available in other box sets. So for instance, these are my Night Lords ones that came in a previous expansion from the Beta Decimus season that was the last season before this one. Um, you get all the specific stuff you need. They're very handy game aids. In addition, you're going to get an additional set of measuring gauges, which I really appreciated. You get the plastic ones in the equipment pack, which are gonna, we'll talk about when we talk about universal upgrades, but you also get a second set of three inch and six inch measuring devices. My only beef with them is the plastic ones are broken down in inches, the cardboard ones aren't. It's just a full six inch gauge, it's like a stick. Um, and the three inch, two inch, and one inch ones are as well. So very handy to get two because two players could then use them back and forth. You get 10 dice. I've had this big bugbear about not getting dice in Skaven Tide. You, you do get dice in this one. Thank you for the dice. Um, it would be handy, and this is just a super minor quibble, but I know Workshop used to make a three color dice set. 
because I have a bunch of them. <laughs> Give us some different colored dice. It's so much handier for doing um, combat resolution and attack and defense if both players have different colored dice. And then you've got some way of tracking wounds too. There's nothing in here for tracking wounds. If they just gave us 10 of each color dice, 10 blue, 10 red, 10 white, which you used to be able to get, I think you got black as well back in the day um, in the card pack or in the dice pack. I know it's just additional equipment or even five, five and five. Five of each would be fine. Five for wounds um, and five each in the sideboard. Um, only other criticism about the cardboard stuff in here is that the uh, cardboard conceal and engage order tokens you do not get enough for two kill teams. And because in the new edition of the game, in the core book, everybody starts with a conceal order, there's only 15 of each, there's, which is probably the maximum you need for a single player, but because it's a two player box, you get 15 conceal and 15 engage orders. You, you have to deploy typically 20 models into the kill zone, you don't get 10 of each. So if you're using other teams, it's kind of minor as a quibble, but it was annoying that if I wanted to play all my, my Tempestor Aqualons, which you don't typically do out of the box, I couldn't give them all conceal orders. We noticed this when we started using the other card decks for additional kill teams, is if you had two 10-man 10, 10 kill teams, we just didn't have. It wasn't a big deal. If you've played other editions of, or other previous editions of this game, you'll have enough from previous editions that it'll be fine. But straight out of the box, if I was a new consumer and I wanted to deploy, like if I was playing just deploying both models 10, 10 at a time and I wasn't using too much of the drop rules for the Tempesters, I wouldn't have enough conceal orders to start the game with or people are sharing. Minor quibble, just kind of annoying. If you're gonna put enough for two players to play, just put 20 in there instead of 15. Um, there's lots of other stuff on that spur that you can make space for or take away from. Uh, and then let's talk about the terrain itself. Man, the thing I appreciated the most about this Volcus terrain kit is the fact that I did not have to spend 10,000 years building it. Ugh, it didn't require a ton of clipping, didn't require a ton of cleaning. I think each of those buildings only comes in like eight pieces. It was super fast to build and paint. In fact, um, conveniently, the color scheme that I used for this is the exact same one I did for the, um, the colony terrain set. Uh, for warmer 40,000. If you want to check out my painting video on that, how to quickly paint a whole table of 40K terrain, I painted all of this terrain and all of the equipment, the universal equipment stuff in a day. I think I built it all in under an hour and a half and then rattle canning it, I, I painted everything in like a day and it looks tremendously good. Like I'm super happy with it. And weirdly the way I painted it too, I perfectly matched the board it came with. And that was completely unintentional. I was just doing it away. I'd already done the rest of my 40K terrain. It completely perfectly matches the Volca skill zone board that comes in here, which you can check out um, again in a different video if you wanna go check out how I painted a, a table with a 40K terrain in a day. Um, and I think for contents, that's really it. Uh, you can check out the other reviews today for the core book, the Hivestorm dossier, and the approved ops card pack, which are separately as separate videos. I kind of divided all this and divided to conquer to make this my brain be more focused on each of these. But holistically as a whole, I love the fact that this is a complete game experience in a box. Um, it gives you everything you need for both sides to play. My quibbles are pretty minor because it does, there, there's a better way of doing some of the things like the different colored dice or having enough conceal orders. But what it does, it does really well. Um, and the price point's not bad for the amount of terrain and miniatures you get in this box. You get 22 individual like trooper sized miniatures, something like 25 pieces of like really cool themed scatter 40K stuff with the universal upgrades. And then you get four big buildings, uh, two corners and tons of scatter that's really easy to build and paint but looks really attractive. I'm really hoping that over the course of this season we get three more box sets set in Volcus that gives me like, give me a crashed truck. Give me some vehicles, make this feel lived in. Cause so far this Volcus train set is really nice. I would love like a crashed vehicle, um, a crashed like lander, even an intact lander I think would be really cool. There's so much you could do, which they did last season with Beta Decima to add like a thing and two new kill teams for the remainder of this season. I'm imagining we're gonna get these quarterly. That seems to be what we did with the last season. So there's probably three more boxes coming out to round out the season of, of you know eight kill teams plus terrain. Three big, cool, chunky pieces of current terrain set in Volcus, I think would be amazing. So um, I'm really excited to see what they do with this in the future. This is 280 bucks Canadian. So this is me guesstimating. I'm guessing it's gonna be roughly 250 US down to mm, for UK maybe. 180, 160, 175 or something like that. So 
in it, with the experience provided, it's high. It's more than the last one was, but because it's a whole experience and because it's the full game size, I do think it's a fairly reasonable price considering the current price structure at 40k. And when you compare it to the knock-on price of like, if I want to add another team, it's like 70 bucks Canadian. I buy a box, I play a game, I'm, I'm, my army's done. You know what I mean? Um, and this is a really satisfying way to engage the 40k universe at this level. Uh, I just want to see more interesting stuff. Like, this is the complete head-to-head -head experience kind of in this game box. I want to see more of the bespoke like RPG stuff. Give me a spec ops book. I was disappointed there wasn't more joint ops and multiplayer ops stuff in here. I want a spec ops book. I want more joint operations. I want my D&D modules is what I want. I want added story level things that aren't just like a three mission narrative, you know, little blurb like what we got in the Hivestorm dossier. So check out the reviews for the remainder of stuff in here. Whole, like whole box value. Three books, card deck, two kill teams, whole table worth of terrain, which is actually a decent 40k terrain collection too, if you're looking at it just from a 40k point of view, for 280 bucks and lots of replay value. I think this is the best box they've produced in a while. I think this and the mid-tier starter set for Age of Sigmar are the two best box sets they've made in a long time, value for money. Um, and I'm excited to play more of it. So anyway, big thanks for watching. Check out all the other reviews that are coming out today because there is a ton. The next time I'm Ash. Okay.